Hey man, here's a walk around of my 68 Cadillac. We call it Granddaddy's Caddy, because that's what it is. <laughs> my, my mom's dad, who everyone called Granddaddy, bought this car back in 1968. Uh, body's in good shape. We actually scotch brighted the paint uh, years ago, because it was uh, pretty good. It was good paint, and it was shiny over most of it, but then it has like spots of missing paint like this, because it's had, it's had a few issues, uh, a few heat-related issues, which we can take a look at. Uh, so, if you watched my other uh, video where I did a sort of walk around of a bunch of the cars out here, I talked about how the back seat was pretty bad. Well, it's pretty bad. It's, uh, yeah. So, it's pretty screwed up. That's like uh, fire damage. I don't know if that's... I was going to say, obviously, I'm not sure how good that shot was. I'm just waving the camera around inside the car. But um, here's the front seat, which actually is in okay shape. It's dirty. And uh, we do have a big problem over there because that window is stuck. I'm going to try to get that to close today because this front seat is a little wet. Of course, we don't like that. But, um, you know, the interior, other than the, the, the fire damage, is okay. The um, mechanicals on it are all good. The engine has about, well, the car has about 70,000 miles on it. And um, there's a, a Cadillac hubcap, huh? Pretty cool looking. So let me see if I can do this in a less kind of uh, difficult way to view. But see if I can open this up with one hand. I don't think I've ever done that before. I may have to put this down for a second. <laughs> I do. Hold on. So this is me fumbling with the hood of the Cadillac. And up it goes. Oh. Woof, there's the acorns falling out of it. That's how long it's been since I opened that. Um, oops, I guess I should put this air cleaner back where it goes on top of this quadrajet. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of motor under here. This is a, of course it's a Cadillac 472. Uh, in 68, these things are, are like the 10 and a half to one compression version. And they rated them at 375 horse. I don't know what the torque rating is, but I have uh, driven this and it feels like a lot of power, even for this giant boss of a car. So I'm, I don't know what they've rated them at for torque, but I don't know. It's got to be a pretty big number because it's a 472 cubic inch motor with 10 and a half to one compression and they don't I don't think these things will rev over like four grand without dying so I guess it's all torque but uh anyway it has a good body on it the back is is all good there's a few you know there are things on this car that I won't ever uh fix because like this right here which I'm sure is my grandmother backing into the trailer uh hitch you know the thing on the sticking off the front of the camper because the, the tongue, I don't know what you call it, the part that goes on the, the thing that's on the car there. But uh, anyways, so the thing has, it has air shocks because they used to trailer a, they had a huge, I'm gonna say like a 30 foot Airstream with uh, two axles, you know, from like back in the old days Airstream. She actually gave that to one of my, uh, uh, one of her other um, grandchildren, uh, or great grandchildren to live in for a while so that's out there being used somewhere by one of my relatives which is cool um down the side it, it's all good you know the paint is a little bit not so good back here but um it's not it's not all the way down to the metal in most places where it is missing so we're gonna patch that up and sort of keep the rest of whatever's left of this original paint but there it is that's granddaddy's caddy um it, it's a fleetwood it's a four-door but you know it's uh I think it's still kind of cool, man. This thing is uh, such a great cruiser. I can't wait to put this on the road and take my uh, my whole family out someplace in it. It's like riding around on a couple of couches. But um, so this guy right now, what I'm thinking is it's probably about the third car on the list. I just wanted to do a quick walk around. Um, if you guys have any ideas or if, please, if anybody knows where to get interior parts for a 68 Cadillac let me know because in the comments I guess because 
Uh, 68, I guess for General Motors and a lot of these cars, it's true with my Nova as well, is a one year only uh, interior because they were, I guess they were transitioning uh, to new body styles on these cars and they, uh, the interior is different in 68 than it is in 67 or 69. Right, and so all the cars after 69, you can sort of find common parts for, but not for this one. Uh, so that back seat, I have never been able to find. I've never found an upholsterer that could put the stitching back in it to match the, the original stuff, which, you know, obviously that's not critical, but it would be nice. It looks kind of cool. Anyway, there's my caddy. And um, if anybody knows where to get parts for the interior of one of these, please let me know. And if anybody has, uh, you know, another Cadillac that they would like to share a link to for us to check out, I'd like to see it. Anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys.